Hello viewers, welcome to Econoplus. In this video, we will discuss statistics questions of SSB Economics 2019. There are 17 questions asked from a statistics person. We will discuss all these questions in this video. So, let us continue. Question number 1, that is 133. The geometric mean of plus pairs and passage index is known as the answer is option A which is Fisher's ideal index number because Fisher's index number is the geometric mean of plus pairs and passage index number. The next question is constant variance is also expressed as the and the answer is homoscedasticity because homoscedasticity means constant variance. Suppose a farm pays wage of rupees 4 per hour to its 20 unskilled workers and 6 to its 10 semi skilled workers and rupees 10 to its 5 skilled workers. Then what is the weighted average wage paid by the farm? And here is the solution. But this solution is not given in the options because this is the wrong options as you can see from the revised answer key of SSB that question number 135 this there is a star mark that means this is the wrong options so the answer is 5.42 now the next question is if x and y are independent to each other then the coefficient of correlation is when two variable, variables x and y are not dependent to each other that means they are not correlated so that their correlation coefficient becomes zero so the answer is option c if a regression line passes through the origin, then we find dash to be 0. When two regression line, this is the equation of regression line, y is equal to ax plus a plus bx. Here a is equal to intercept and b is equal to slope. So this is the, this portion is intercept. But when it passes from the origin, so the intercept becomes 0. The answer is option D intercept becomes 0. The mean of a distribution is 20 and the standard deviation is 5. Then what is the coefficient of variation? The coefficient of variation is standard deviation divided by mean into 100. So the answer is 25%. The answer is option A 25%. Suppose for 30 observation the variance is 40. If all the observations are increased by 10, then the variance will be. We know that the variance is independent of change in origin. That means if we add some numbers or deduct some numbers from the, all the observations, then the variance will remain same. But this is dependent of scale. That means if we multiply some numbers or divide some numbers it will also increase by the same numbers but remains same if we add or deduct that means it is independent of change in origin so the answer is 40 variance will not change which one of the following variables is not categorical so there are four options let us just analyze the marital status of a person either he is married or unmarried so this is a, this is a categorical variable and this cannot be our answer. Choice of the test item true or false. This is also categorical. Gender of a student. This is also categorical. Either male or female. So the only ans only option which is left this is height of a student. So the answer is option A. The height of a student is not the categorical variable. The next question is one of the uses of regression line is the answer is to estimate change in y for a one unit change in x because in a regression the regression lines will estimate what is the expected value of y for a given value of x this is estimate the change in y for one unit change in x for the series 38, 36, 34, the 23rd and 27th term are. 
in the, this is the formula of harmonic harmonic series in harmonic series the formula of nth term is a plus n minus 1 into d then what is d d is the difference so in our example the difference is minus 2 and the initial term is 38 by applying the formula we will get 23rd term as minus 6 and 27th term as minus 14 so the answer is option a if a b and c are in harmonic progression with b as their harmonic mean then what is the value of b so the formula of harmonic mean is here and what is the number of observation this is 3 the observation are a b and c so harmonic mean becomes 3 a b c plus a b plus b c plus c a which is which is equal to b and solving this we will get 2 a c plus a plus b is equal to b so the answer is 2 a c plus 2 a c divided by a plus c the answer a the answer is a so question number 144 the answer is a the next question is which of the following agencies generate data on gdp of india which of the following agencies generate data gdp of india the answer is central statistics office cso now the next question is a type of stratified proportion sampling in which information is gathered on convenience basis from different group of population is classified as the answer is quota sampling next question is the non-random sampling technique in which the researcher asks the research participant to identify other potential resource participant and this is the this type of sampling is known as snowball sampling in which participants also ask identify the other participants this is the chain based method in which one participant sorts another participant this is the snowball sampling then which one of the following is the main problems with using non-probability sampling techniques and the answer is human judgment error human judgment error the mean of a macro economic time series is 15 and the standard deviation is 5 and what is the coefficient of variation this is 5 divided by 15 which is 0 0.33 the answer is a the last question is regression analysis the answer is it establishes a relationship between two variables so if you like this video and pre then please share and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you